getting her doctorate from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor is without power right now because oh. of all the ice and it's just too much for the power grid to, to overcome at the moment. And, you know, she's very jealous of our 80-degree sure. weather. She called me yesterday. She's like, yeah, I wish we could switch places. I'm like, yeah, I'll keep what I've got. That's right. We got so much crazy weather happening across the country, and I do think we probably have the best end of the stick yeah. with just near record heat. That's not too bad sitting in the 80s. We can deal with the humidity when others are without power in the cold. In the cold or all that rain over in California, yeah. too. Lots happening right now. We'll start with the temperature map so you can see the big difference. 70 degrees right now in New Orleans. It's 72 in Miami. And then meanwhile in Bismarck, negative 11 below a zero in places like Bismarck. So it is very cold to the north and then we are very warm here in the southeast. Also, here's a big picture setup. You can see all that snow and ice over places like Michigan. And then there's that system out in California. That's going to be the next severe weather setup across the country, but it's not going to impact us. So notice how it's going to move over the next couple of days off to the east, but I think it's really going to stay to our north. So it will bring a risk of severe weather tomorrow and that's centered over places like Oklahoma and Texas. From there it will continue to sweep off to the east and then it will bring another threat of severe weather over places like Kentucky. But for us notice that it's not much. It really does fall apart once it gets to us. Our rain chances are only sitting at about 20%. So right now the big deal with our weather locally is the fog out there. We do have a dense fog advisory across our area until 10 a.m. And then we also have a marine dense fog advisory that's for coastal areas and the lakes that's until 12 o'clock this afternoon. So visibility right now it's reduced in places like Bell Chase. That's where it seems the worst also over in Gulfport. Bogalusa and Hammond also getting some reduced visibility there. Temperatures are mild to warm. I mean, it's 70 degrees right now at the lakefront, 71 in Slidell, 70 at the airport, 71 Galliano, sitting in the 60s for places like Hammond, Bogalusa, and in Bell Chase. Outside, we are seeing a good bit of cloud cover, and again, the fog with a little bit of mist mixed in with the fog. But as for actual shower activity, not seeing anything. I can't rule it out, though. We can maybe see an isolated shower throughout these morning hours. Rain chances really only coming in at about 10%. Most of us stay dry. And by the way, skies will become mostly sunny later on today. So yes, it's a dreary start to the day, but it should get better later on. And temperatures quickly warm up 77 to 84 degrees near record highs again today. 82 degrees is what I'm thinking that would tie our record high. So tonight, mostly cloudy with some patchy fog yet again overnight tonight. Another muggy night. I don't think it will be as mild to warm as it is this morning, but still lows coming in from around 58 to 67 degrees. And then tomorrow, another very warm day, another humid day, highs anywhere from 76 to 83 degrees, a 10% chance of a shower. We have this very low chance of showers as we have the wind coming out of the south and this cloud cover out there. Overall, though, most of us do stay dry, partly cloudy tomorrow. Check it out. Potential record highs. I think today we will tie the record at 82. I think we have a good chance of getting close to tying on Monday as well. And then again on Wednesday and Thursday. Yes, warm temperatures in the 80s over the next several days. Looking for a little bit of relief. I think it will come on Friday with a high of 70. That's actually normal for this time of year. All right, Lee, thank you so much.